Finding the Roots of K-Pop. The phenomenon known as K-Pop, sweeping Asia, the Americas, and Europe, can trace its roots back to traditional Korean culture. Samgukji, Wiji, Dongijeon. There we find words describing uh, the music of the time, a phrase called Namnyo Kunchi Kamu, Su Jok Sangang, and then Tapchi Cho Ang. You know, if you think about it, that's exactly the choreography of the K pop idol groups of today. The Joseon dynasty began 600 years ago and is considered the Renaissance period of Korean music. At this time, music and dance flourished and was documented in books such as Akakwebam and prima donnas such as Huang Jin Yi rose to stardom. Traditional Samul Nori resembles b-boy moves and the royal family's Jangaguan, which oversaw all of the palace music and dances, show how Chosun Dynasty gave birth to a golden era of music and culture. Our crew met with Korean historian Professor Kim Hong-suk, who published a paper on the origins of Korean idol groups for further investigation. According to Professor Kim, he's claimed to have found ancient documents and artifacts that prove K-pop idol groups existed in the Chosun Dynasty. His claims are causing quite a stir in Korea as well. A variety of music genres were developed through Jangakwan and Joseon, and there was a specific genre which today's idol music can trace its roots back to. He carefully showed us a couple of pictures and documents from a pile of artifacts. The characters depicted in the pictures resembled familiar dance moves, which even our crew were able to identify. Back then there were several civil service exams which included not only liberal arts and military services but also exams for entry into the royal orchestra which surprisingly resembles the audition programs so famous today. It's said that the talented musicians and dancers from across the country performed in front of a panel of three judges who were considered the three greatest musicians at the time. Furthermore, the group of artists from that very first exam were later widely acknowledged as icons of music and culture. These groups of artists not only performed for the royal family and in nationwide tours, but also performed for diplomats from all over the world and were to have gained popularity throughout the international community. In the late Joseon period, a German ambassador fascinated by these groups is said to have become the first naturalized Korean citizen. This person, Sam Lee, later became the head of Changaguan and played a key role in spreading Chosun's music and culture. The fact that I know that is only natural because, you see, I'm a direct descendant of Sam Lee, the person who was naturalized after discovering Korean music. Let me show you our family heirloom. This is an autograph from one of those idols back then. The characters in the pictures look very much like 2PM and Miss A, who are leading K-pop at the moment. Do you know the names of these groups? They were called Misi and Misue. Misi and Misue. Misi indicates the time between 1PM and 3PM, while Misue means beauty, grace and loveliness. In other words, these groups have the same names as 2PM and Miss A. What's really interesting is that Misue was a multinational group, a mix of Chosun and Chinese musicians. Our film crew showed our footage to the very groups in question, 2PM and Miss A, who are topping the charts in Korea and Asia right now. Could this mean that K-pop has been in existence for hundreds of years? You decide for yourself.